Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Shape 90 Friend, in this video I'll show you about salary slip. This is very much important. We must know about salary slip and how they calculate our basic DNS allowance, house rent allowance, convenience and medical allowance. So all these things they calculate from our gross salary. So in this video, I will show you everything. What is the percentage of basic DA, HRA, convenience allowance, medical allowance, and how they calculate our provident fund? How much they should cut from your salary? And how about the ESI? How they cut your ESI? What is the percentage of your ESI from your gross salary? So everything you come to know end of this video. So keep watching it and uh, friend this is the format if you have a store or have a restaurant but you don't have hr department you must download this this can be helpful you can keep your all your stuff record over here and you can generate salary slip for them if you don't have this uh, salary i mean uh, epa for facility like pf facility and also simply you can keep it zero zero no problem with that if there is no esic also you can keep this part also empty rest of the section like basic da hra convenience everything will be calculated itself and this is uh, super easy so i'll show you in this video step by step so let's get started so we uh, start from our salary slip in this salary slip we have everything at the beginning there is a company name you must write here your company name the address and phone number and this salary slip is being generated for uh, march 2021 so you can change it and this employee ID, as you can see because every company there has to be uh, employee id for employee and on the basis of uh, employee id they have to generate the salary slip then we have the name designation then joining date then month or year then even a number if it is not available then you can keep it zero no problem total working days here is 31 day present is 30 because there is one absent and then this is the most important section uh, here we have earning basic da hra convenience medical and bonus if it is there then then the deduction section over here provident fund yes i see then tax and then advance and at the end we have gross salary then total deduction and this is the payable account that will get in your bank account so i'll show you how it will looks like when you get the print isn't it same that you get every month from your company yeah it is at the last you can see this is computer generated salary slip stamp or signature is not required for that so this is also important so now i'll show you how they calculate the data or if you download this format how you can use it so first you have serial number it will be updated automatically then we have employee id you have to write manually when uh, there is any new stuff just generate your his employee id and you can write here then there is the designation department i didn't mention or you can uh, mention here instead of designation you can give department also as you wish you can make changes as per your requirement after that we have joining date this is also very much important for us uh, and then we have employee name then UNA number if it is available if you started PF for your stuff then the UNA number has to be at this place then we have to write the gross salary for that particular staff guys one thing that I'll tell you if you download this format make sure that you use only the cell that has white color only you use the area it has white color rest of the cell as you can see this part is different color this part is different color the colorful areas will get updated automatically 
and all these areas are loaded with formulas so i suggest you not to touch it so after that uh, we have gross salary then gross salary for current month why gross salary for current month i'll show you that is on absent section if anyone is absent for one day it will get minus from here and according to that your gross salary for this month will get counted and on the basis of that your basic dahra convenience and medical allowance will be divided so the top at this place you can see the basic is 50 percent of your gross salary gross salary for current month obviously because you are absent for one day so basic salary is 50 percent of your gross so it's getting calculated automatically d a dns allowance is 12 percent from your gross salary hra is 20 percent from your gross salary convenience fee is 16 percent of your gross salary medical allowance is 2 percent of your gross salary so it's being calculated automatically and guys all this percentage uh, i collect from uh, the government website so all these are totally genuine no need to worry about that so this is our total gross then this is the deduction section right deduction section we have contribution of pf professional tax then esic and salary in advance if you have taken then so in this time also 12 percent they will deduct your salary i mean uh, for pf but this amount will come from your basic and da got it from basic and da 12 percent will come for uh, pf and for professional tax it will get cut 200 automatically from your basic salary direct esic will be cut six percent from your basic salary uh, sorry gross salary so this is our deduction section and this is the total deduction after that net payable amount is coming from total gross salary gross total and total deduction section total working days i write here 31 because you can change the name month name from here like if it is february then you have to write here manually 28 then according to that it will start counting now they are counting for 28 days and you will get the salary for that as per the absent record if you have five days absent you see now your net payable amount is 25,000 but it will get changes now you're getting 25,870 rupees only because there is a absent mark so i'll show you one data i'll add and i'll show you how it calculate automatically so i'll write here my name and suppose my uan number will be one zero zero two zero five okay okay then my gross salary around fifty thousand now when i write here fifty thousand you see all the data will be filled automatically that's why i'm saying don't try to touch or edit any of the color cell then what do you have to do after that simply every month once you have the record for each and every particular stuff about absent and present day present like i'm there at four days present so the amount will get deducted and i'll show you i'll generate my salary slip so here you have to see your uh, employee id because on the basis of uh, employee id you have to generate the salary slip so my id is b1007 so i'll jump here and at this employee section employee id i'll change 006 now um, i think uh, seven yes i'm seven so my name is here February you see absent is four days 28 days working days and day present is 24 they have uh, generated my salary slip and everything is there simply press ctrl and p and you can make a print of it see that's how it looks like it's a pretty simple nothing you have to do and even in this video you come to know that how they calculate our basic dahra convenience medical allowance from the gross salary and when this month is finished if one that uh, you have to make another sheet so this is for december 
you simply click data and then here move and copy data create a copy now we have data 2 so i'll drag this here and data 2 this is for february right okay so february feb now i'll february i'll generate this for march march 2021 and as for that i'll change the date first now again it is ready to get used simply you have to add the absent or present value and according to that you will get the entire data and your salary slip will be ready so in this video this much only i hope you understand that how does it work and how they calculate our salary from gross to basic dhra and other elements so friends if you have any query you must write on my comment box if you want to download this format the link will be on description box thank you very much for watching this video